Hey, it's Louis Hoffman I'm at Rosen Sound and I'm gonna check some new synth. Let's get it. I just found myself in a room full of things I don't know. I mean, that I saw in some pictures somewhere on the internet and I was like, I'm never gonna touch this thing. But funny enough, what do I have in front of myself? A Oberheim 8 voice and also like this synth, I was not even attracted to it. I was like, okay, whatever, 8 voice, it seems complicated. It's each fucking like note is, a, is here, you know. Um, <clears throat> but of course, I just did like... I mean, it sounds like shit what I just did, but... You know, just to do a chord on this and then I was... I, I just like... Cut myself from like the real world and I, and I played and it was amazing, like come on. This is amazing. And as you can see, like each time I play, there's a little notes here. Then it's here, then here, then here, you know, it's everything is going on here. Okay, and so this one. to be tuned a little bit. Here we go. And this was this chords were like this was like one of the first songs I made when I was uh, playing this garage band thing. Unison as well. And you see, you see how, like crazy pop music, get into some stuff when you see those. Like this is like this is Lady Gaga. I mean, this is not Lady Gaga, but this sounds, you heard it in some tracks. Like, you know. And the crazy thing is that this was made really not to think about those things. And then people made track as massive as this synth. That's insane. one is even more like what the fuck like this thing is insane this thing is really expensive this thing is rare now um, and what get me really attracted in this thing is this little slide you know because I love everything that slides like I love bottlenecks um, when I use uh, synthesizers, I always like put the glide, the portamento thing, is what I love the most. Uh, I believe there's one here. I love this thing. 
Wow, come on! Let's take. Hey! Now I get it, everything that is green, I guess. Right now I'm, I'm getting into it a little bit and I can see there's a lot of stuff going on here. And what I love about synths like this is that you just doing some stuff, you know, you just... And then you get this... The attitude track is where it was made because I was just trying to do some stuff with my synth and as I was like tweaking some stuff you get some mistake going on because you don't know what, what the fuck you're doing. I really don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You know? And this is what I like is that when you really don't understand in a way, you think you understand, but you don't. And by using the synth in the wrong way, you're getting into your own world. like this fucking touch bar is just like This is an old one, I, like, but me, like the first, like the thing I bought was like more like the new one-ish in like 2016, I guess. And this was like the first like real moment I was like, okay, you know what? I made some tracks. Okay, now I can get myself a little something. I got myself this thing because there was this insane track of Vladimir Kosma, which is a French composer. Um, and you had an insane French uh, Romania. And an insane track that was called um, Tendre Sam. And I heard this, this kind of sounds that looked like a chewing gum. It was like doing... And it was like gliding around. I was like, what the hell are you doing this thing? And then I found myself in a synth shop. And I realized it was coming from this thing. Yes. Like my first approach of this synth was like was like to do some nice little like uh, um, some nice little melodies, you know. But then I was like, oh, let me tune this thing. And then I was like, hey, what's going on if I do really why people are buying this thing? And then now we're talking about some stuff. Yeah. You 
Yeah, this is the. You can go really far. So you know some funky stuff. Recognize this shit, the Michael Jackson shit. I mean, like. just like doing some try like you see how far you can get like I started from like doing some weird like rave shit when I started to play on it right now and then I found myself being like <laughs> you know this is this is soul you know this is why I love instruments built you know like this that's why I'm, I'm not vibing with like plugins and stuff like that because you cannot you know like to do it like this, it's not the same uh, as like being in front of like something in wood, like with electricity going on, where you can put some like overload shit. I mean like, come on. When I can 
you know, first like saw some pictures of this thing, I was really not attracted by this thing. I was like, okay, whatever. And people were like, yeah, it's really nice for like pads, like. And I was like, I don't care about, you know, pads. I want to do some like melodies and stuff like that. But then, right now, I'm finding myself in front of it, and I have to say, it's amazing. Like you're just blown away. It's like I really don't know how it works. By the way. So I believe we got some stuff going on here. Program. Wow. I like the lightness of that. Man. You see here, you can see that you can do so many mistakes and you can be so surprised by this thing that it's firstly like inspiring, you know. You see? Wow, come on! Hey, it looks like this. Change, change your eyes. Look around you. Damn, come on. That's the best scenes. I think that's my favorite. Also because it looks like I can try to get it. What's this thing? I know I'm gonna never get it in my life. It's a fucking like museum thing. This one is like, hey, what up? I get it! I'm starting to understand. <laughs> I 
Love it. This thing is my true best friend. Like this thing, like first, the, the advertising for, for this was Luke Skywalker. Holding out like, like the synth like this, you know. This is kind of nice. And the design is insane. So I was like, okay, <clears throat> what is this thing? It's not like big, it's kind of like, you know, pocket size-ish. Um, let's get it. So that's the second mug I, I have. And what's the cool thing with this thing is that it's not nubs. So this is what I have on stage, okay? I had a few problems with it a few times. This synth is doing his life, basically. Like, you cannot really contort sometimes. It's getting to some places. Um, but the cool thing is that you can save your sounds, which is when it was the beginning of Moog doing this kind of thing. You can do some presets. This is quite useful live, you know, because you don't have the time to, like... So, yeah. But what I love the most is that... So now you have two oscillators. And they are not sync. And when you sync them, you can you can go it into some really nice. You can go into some like almost like Jimi Hendrix kind of shit, you know. Woo! Okay, man. And so there is this sync thing that I just showed, it's really nice. But there is also... Some really nice bass. Crazy. Yeah, so this one I can really go in. One of the best.